Hey guys, what's up? It is Anna Louise and today's video as always is so exciting because this has to do with my brand new breeding pair. So as I've mentioned recently, it is already time to start breeding bettas again. Yes, I still do have my Dumbo Half Moon slash Placot babies who are almost ready to go on sale, which I'm so excited for, but it's still, it's time to go ahead and breed more because why not have more beautiful babies already so i'm so ready for it and today's video is revealing something that i have had changed and been working on for a little while now and that is my brand new beta breeding setup so a rack system is very very popular with a lot of people who keep pets and i really have always just liked the way it looked and i wanted to kind of make um, my little setup for them you just look like a lot better and more established I guess so if you are familiar with how my breeding setup used to look it was on a desk stuff like that well I have a whole new area for it including a nice new area for my geckos as well and so it's all there together and I am so excited for you guys to see and I'm also going to get my breeding tank ready in this video for my new breeding pair which are coming very very soon so if you are interested in my new beta breeding setup up and see me prepare for the new bettas to keep on watching today's video. So it is already at that time again to start breeding bettas and I cannot wait. I am currently waiting on my brand new breeding pair to arrive tomorrow and I do have a video up revealing my brand new breeding pair so if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. These are literally my favorite breeding pair yet to date and I love them so much and I'm just really trying to improve things in 2020 and I have a whole new setup. So I did get a rack system to put my geckos on and my breeding tank and gosh I'm so excited. I love the way it looks and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So let me actually turn the camera around and we'll talk about it. Okay so if you are definitely used to my videos and you would know right here was a desk. The desk held my breeding tank and all of the supplies for breeding but I know that rack systems are definitely very popular with owning pets um, because they're just a really good way to keep the pets on a you know a system all together and so I definitely thought about it and really decided that I wanted to go ahead and do this with my geckos and my breeding tank so right here I have baby brown shrimp all ready to go um, no, I do not obviously have fish yet or babies yet. This is just old set up from last time, but still the station is here. Then here is my breeding tank. I have to get this set up right away because you guys, my breeding pair comes in tomorrow and I just can't wait. So I love this new setup. Dahlia is down there. Davis and my crusty is up here. Don't come for me about this. My crusty gecko is a baby and he is very picky and I'm he has this set up right now because it's good. It works for him, so anyway but i'm adoring my new breeding tank setup and i hope you guys love it as well i think it looks so official we're also doing a little bit more different renovations to this room out here it is our spare room um and so that's why you know i do all my pets out here because it's just a spare room to hang out and take care of the pets <laughs> but here it is i love it let's go ahead and actually add some water to this tank because we've got to get it set up I 
I know that as it unfolds, I only get old. At a quarter of life, I got plans to strike gold. It's not what I had in mind, but it's open my eyes. Doors are all open, and I can walk in if I like. It's like I'm right on the line, done with biding my time. Just need to push forward, hope it's right into the light. Okay, so I have to clean up that little bit that I spilled at the bottom, but I put right at five gallons in there. Let me go ahead and give you guys a closer look. Okay, so I did put five gallons in there. It is a little bit over halfway. So this tank, I mean, just it happens in general. Water evaporates, so I wanted a little over halfway, so it, evaporate, it would evaporate a little bit to get around halfway mark. So that's what I've done. Because if you're new and you don't know a lot about betta breeding, basically the breeding tank, you want it to be as low as possible, but not too low. So like around that halfway mark, as I was saying, whenever you're breeding the bettas, because it is a lot easier on the dad when the eggs fall to be able to go down, find them, get them and bring them back up. It's just a lot less work. So that is saving energy on the dad. So that's why I've done this, but I'm really loving the way it looks. And it is very, very level with my chair that has boxes in it right here because I was using it as a stand <laughs> to show you guys. But anyway, it is a very, very good height so that I could sit here and work with my babies just like I did at the desk from last time. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just really, really, really loving it. And I do have this little box for supplies as well, which I do have to plug up the heater, of course. I have my moss ball that already has good bacteria that will go in here as well. And I'm thinking about adding some plants in there too to float at the top just for bacteria purposes. Um, and yeah, so I'm really, really, really happy about this so far. And I can't wait to, to get in the breeding pair tomorrow. Just got to clean that up. Alright you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope you love the rack system. I love it so much. I think it's so nice. I love the metal and how the tanks, each one of them look on the stand. I think it looks so nice. And I just can't wait to get my bed of breeding pair in. I can't wait to see them. I can't wait to see my male swimming around in the tank and hopefully building that bubble nest. Um, I really do enjoy it though. And I really hope that you also enjoyed seeing me prepare the tank, which of course is filling it with that halfway point of water um, and adding some like live plant stuff for some good bacteria because that is always so important and I just I don't know I'm really happy with everything and I hope you like it and I hope that you are looking forward to seeing that new backdrop in a lot of my better breeding videos obviously I hope it's aesthetically pleasing to you I'm so excited because I feel like it looks a lot more like finalized and stuff like that so definitely happy with how everything turned out I hope you really really like it as well and before we do go I want to say thank you to my patrons as always, Dylan and Courtney, Jeremy, Maddie, Davis, Mercy, Dusty, Casey, Janae, Mel, Amanda D, Amanda S, Steven, Crystal. Thank you guys so, so much for being patrons. It truly means the world to me, for real. If you guys are interested in being patrons, the link will be in the description box down below. You get a lot of awesome perks with Patreon, and it helps me out tremendously, so please consider doing that. And other than that, please subscribe to my channel, which you can do by hitting my face right up there. And you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right over there. And I hope that you guys have an amazing day or night or whenever you may be watching this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one.